Hey guys, welcome to another episode of Me Time with Sagar and today we are going to talk with architect Sally Savan. She is an amazing content writer and her LinkedIn game is very strong. You should check out for yourself. More details are in the description below. Hey Sally, how are you? Or should I say Kasakai? <laughs> Kasakai is much better. Very good. Khub chan. How are you? I am good and we both are Maharashtians. So now this is going to be a fun podcast. Yes, it's going so, to be a very Marathmora podcast. <laughs> I, I hope so. I hope so. And people, I hope uh, the Hindi side people or English side people will understand what we say. Yeah. <laughs> so <laughs> before... Before starting with the question, I just wanted to add this. Ki, uh, I started following you on LinkedIn. So when I opened up LinkedIn one day, I saw many, many posts regarding architecture content, something about employees and everything in front of the industry uh, and contracted. I quickly followed you because uh, me being on Instagram, I always uh, like see people who are working in the same uh, field. So uh, I quickly followed in and later I saw there was one media, uh, you're working with one Instagram media regarding a uh, networking or uh, yeah LinkedIn networking course. So mm -hmm. then I followed your Instagram as well. And okay. then I found out that she already follows me. So I was like, <laughs> wow, that is nice. And uh, then, then we had that conversation and we planned this podcast. Hmm. I think uh, I have been following FYI for a year now because what I love about the content is that even when I write, I like to keep it funny. The architects don't approve, but then I still try to convince them. But I feel like uh, humor content, be it written or visual, it's very receptive and people connect to it. And that's what connected me to FYI because there's that humor thing. Otherwise, people are just giving serious information. And you don't really want that on Instagram is what my opinion yeah, is. It's like, yes, I'll do the serious thing on LinkedIn, let Instagram be fun. Yeah. There is a separate story for the funny incident. Like I have already shared on my Instagram that there was one relative and I was fighting with him. I came at my home <laughs> and I started with the comic reels. So that was a very simple story and the comic reels are there now. And now we can say 40,000 40, plus? How much is it? <laughs> 40, 42 point something something. He's <laughs> uh, considering point and all, huh? <laughs> yeah, because I can like, uh, I keep targets. So I want to achieve those targets. Like according to the numbers, I want to achieve those targets. So then when you manifest those numbers, then you try to try hard to go there. So now mm -hmm. Instagram being a main thing for me, apart from my practice, I have to like go for it. Yeah. So you're manifesting you 40, 100,000 more. <laughs> thank you. Thank you. Thank you. So uh, I'll get back to the question part now. So did you ever think that joining uh, while joining architecture, you will be a content writer? Uh, I wa wanted to be a journalist, to be honest, from the start. But then, you know, the Indian, Indian parents and you need to have a profession. You need to have an AR or DR or ER, something, you know, as your mm -hmm. prefix. So, and I also thought that uh, professional education is supposed to be something stable and very good with money. But now coming in architecture, we all know the scenario, what it is. So, uh, yes, I wanted to write. And uh, I also demanded my HOD when during my internship years that, you know, can I do an internship like that? But at that time, there was no awareness. So they said that, you know, conventional way is how we have to go ahead. And I hated that internship. Uh, luckily, I got an internship in Godrej Properties and that's where I got exposed to all these kinds of content and things, storytelling, because Godrej as a brand is very, you know, driven towards storytelling. And then, you know, this entire thing started. And when I actually verified, when I got certain work offers, I realized that it's actually a very sustainable profession if you're ready to work for it. I mean, it's not a profession that gives you immediate results, but it's definitely a sustainable profession if done yes. right. And yeah, it was not there in my mind, but it happened. Yes, but for architects, it's still a very small niche, and you are like you have entered that niche, and you are doing very well. Like we can see it on LinkedIn, or you are doing courses regarding the content writing and all. That is like uh, 
going on very well so you have like uh, you are in the niche and you are doing it very nicely yeah but it's actually quite i think apurva bose datta was the only one i would say maybe one of the i'm not sure but she was the one who kind of started this entire thing and luckily i got to work with her for some time for one project and that's when uh, she kind of gave me that confidence that you know it can happen and i think that sort of boosted me because there are it's a roller coaster ride to be honest like mm-hmm. it's a roller coaster ride to kind of take care of yourself and your team but you know it's, you need the right kind of mentors to kind of make sure that you reach yeah, yeah that's correct that's correct for me also that uh, like uh, i started content creation as a hobby during lockdown everybody like uh, what we say khodun khodun then ni swata cha talent card and they they went into some different stream so that was me so in past 20 or like one month i'm thinking that why i entered into like what was the creative uh, mindset of mine who entered into that so this i have recollected my college memories and i was the person who was always behind the camera in the college Yeah, so that reflect mm-hmm. i i had almost 50 to 60 gb of data where i am not seen in the camera <laughs> so i have been, okay. been taking i am in taking interviews of students how was your viva like to my friends of my class friends how was your viva in certain different like when i am a reporter or i am something different person and i'm asking them so it was fun like now i get it that okay wo talent kahi to bhi tha that came here hmm. now what led to this yeah yes yes so, so it never this... goes away i think in the end you end up doing what you actually love and are good at so yeah hmm. so basically this is my interview story <laughs> <laughs> we so, covered both now <laughs> yeah yeah so whenever like someone asks me this like when i am on the other side i'll be saying this okay nice. so the next question to you is were like was your english really good from the start or you developed it through your experience and learning so i went to a convent school like a proper english girl convent school you know that thing catholic and all the yes. catechism so there was this thing that you have to compulsorily speak english and we were being the rebels so you know english was not a very strong language but i think to write well you need to you know you need to have that sense of narrative and storytelling over english because i think nowadays there are so many tools grammarly this and that you just need the talent to tell a story in a very good way that it you know resonates with the person english is something that can always be taken care of with practice so when i started i was really bad i used to go to my friends who went to bombay scottish schools and all those you know really nice schools and i used to tell them that you know just just uh, you know just proof check my blog is it okay they used to give me mistakes and all those things and then i made a practice that every day i'm going to keep writing something 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 even now if i read something that i've written in jan i'm just like oh, what shit is this what have i written so you have to kind of you know it's okay you have to kind of keep on upgrading and upskilling so yeah it was okay okay but later it developed same things happen with me when i see my old videos like why am i not smiling why the face is so bad i think all of this and then i try to like act nicely on the screen yeah so maybe next day if you look back to your videos right now you're going to have that same emotion right yeah, so it's just yeah. that you've grown in that time and it's yeah. necessary to look back also in that definitely way. because the quality is always like we have to keep improving the quality every time because uh we know that certain amount like we didn't had those gadgets when we started and now we have certain amount of gadgets we have certain amount of tools which can help us create a good content so now we know as we move forward into this field so yes we we continuously learn i also so, see you more like your confidence was always there but it's just that every month i see you know your smile getting wider and you just being more confident yes <laughs> i अभी तो दो साल बाद तीन के बाहर ही निकल आता है एयरपोर्ट वाले सीन्स हो रहे लाइक पीपल आर रिकोगनाइजिंग मी ऑन एयरपोर्ट सो यू गेटिंग पैपर आज भी पैपर आज नो 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 आई विल नॉट हाउ इट नाई वुड नॉर मी अजून आई विल बी ऑन ग्राउंड so architects yeah. cannot be celebrity you know that so there are star architects for what i don't know but there are there, there might are, be some yeah, reasons yeah. why they call that hmm, maybe which yeah. i don't agree of but yeah 
<laughs> so moving on, moving on. Let me guess. You were a archie geek in college, like a grammar Nazi. I was a last bencher geek. So I used to study, but I used to sit on the last bench. I used to get caught for all the wrong things. I used to get caught to for sleeping during lectures. Um, oh. I was thrown out of the classroom and all that. But my marks were like I was not the top student, but I was a geek. So a bit of work. Every, like every other architecture student. What to do? Basically, yeah, every other yeah. architecture student. Yeah, it was not like I say and and not work or anything. But they used to be confused that she works, but then she's sitting at the last and doing all kinds of nonsense. So yeah. <laughs> See, my I also sat for two years at the last bench, and we had four group, like four people of. Uh, we had a small group. Oh. We used to chit chat all the time. The the design jury don't do not used to come to our bench to check our what we have drawn or something like. That. करो तुमको जो करना है। नो द थिंग अबाउट आर्किटेक्ट तो स्कूल इज दैट यू स्पेंड सो मच टाइम विद योर क्लासमेट्स योर कॉन्स्टेंटली विद ईच अदर यू स्टे एट ईच अदर्स हाउस सो देयर इज दैट द फ्रेंडशिप दैट इज फॉर्मड इट्स इट्स जस्ट क्रेजी यू नो सो दैट्स व्हाई द फर्स्ट बेंच नेवर रियली वाज माय डोमेन या बट बट वन थिंग आई विल टेल आई हैव नेवर वर्क लाइक वेंट टू एनीबडीज हाउस एंड वर्क आई कैन नॉट डू दैट because uh, i have not done any nights in architecture college not a single night oh my god i have done all nights only wow. and adopt my friends parents have adopted me like literally oh. they are like ye hamari teesri beti hai that kind of a situation that could have been a- that means you are a geek <laughs> that means you are I'm, a geek i i have written the script and asking questions so definitely i am a geek now <laughs> now we know who the geek is between us Okay, so I think I have like I am being interviewed now. <laughs> Go ahead. Okay, so uh, see what I told you that I didn't like uh, went like for nights and everything. And when I started this page, also like people did not recognize my work. So like and uh, still now my not all my college friends have followed me on Instagram. So I have been like on the group like do follow me or something like that. I don't know what validation. i would require yeah. like uh, to follow me so my next question yeah. to you was did people recognize your work since start or it took time for you and uh, yes yeah it, it did take time but i think the kind of methods i know now if i would have applied them then it would have taken much less of time but we all know how it starts we all starts na- start naive uh, but yeah it took time it took time for the good people to recognize me because in yes. writing it's much more important to reach to the good brands good organizations i'm not saying that you shouldn't work with lesser ones or something like that but the ones who really care about content really care about writing it took time it took almost a year and a half but i think yeah different social media mediums instagram linkedin and you know just kind of uh, physical interaction and all that helped me and also i was working with foid uh, i was one of the first writers hired by foid so mm-hmm. with foid i actually was exposed to many architects so that was a plus point yeah nice that's nice so speaking about linkedin that like you spoke about linkedin i have literally stalked your linkedin okay <laughs> right and it really helped me like people stock instagram i have stock linkedin so I, it okay. really right. helped me uh, to go in think in the right direction like how to grow on instagram in that way i'm saying so hmm. how important it uh, is it like on linkedin for networking uh so i think people feel that if they are like a supplier or a brand or something that's when they have to be on linkedin because they need the leads but i think every junior architect every senior architect you might be stable in your job you need to be on linkedin just to talk to people just to meet your kind of people like i joined it because there were not many architectural writers here okay so what i wanted to do exactly what i'm doing now there was there's still no one who's doing exactly what i'm doing but there might be one or two names internationally so my way of reaching to them you know you have to ask doubts to the re- relevant people you can't just ask an architectural writing doubt to an architect he would have no clue so i think ne- networking can actually enhance your career it's not just about that monetary or that business profitability it's about your growth also for example if you want to do a course you can just ask the person who has done that course that what is your experience on that course so i think architects are very good at their technical skills and all that but they are super bad when it comes to you know promoting themselves talking about their work i don't know why that awkwardness 
you should, and at the same time, I think through LinkedIn, uh, first I used to think that low pay pay scales, you know how much I talk about all that thing because it really aggravates me. But what I found was, I thought that it's an India thing of architects being paid less. But then I talked to many global architects and all those peers, friends. That's when I realized it's a global issue. And, you know, and then now there's this community that collectively supports me whenever there's a post, I support them. So just, you know, maybe we can create some change also in that way. You know, you yes. can't just be in your shell and saying that, you know, I'm getting paid less. You have to actually go out there and voice up. And yes. many founders and, you know, many founders, CEOs, principal architects are sitting there. They are watching you. So let it reach to them that this sucks that we are paid less. You know, just just an example but, on how LinkedIn can yes. do it. But it took guts, like it ha- It takes guts to post something like that when certain people are following you and sitting yeah. on that chair. Yeah. But like I saw that yeah, post. I get DMs. I, I saw I that post DMs. where you... Yeah. They, they, they just keep asking that, you know, you do realize it's very hard to... One of my senior told me that you just wait for two years when you have a team of your own, then we'll talk. At that time... And I agree with him because at that time, I did not have a team. I was talking from a very student-centric view. And that time he said that people don't upskill and then they demand. So that's where we cannot give you a raise. But when I talk Mm. to a lot more people through LinkedIn and I have a team of my own, now I do realize that it's a both-way kind of a situation. If you kind of upskill and demand, then, for example, if you are good at parametric architecture and you're applying to a firm who does vernacular architecture, so they're just going to take you at a normal Pay. but if you're working mm-hmm. if you apply to that kind of a firm and tell them that you know you use rhino and i know rhino i'm so good at it you should take me and i need this this hike they will listen to it yes so yes. yeah that, that is something that ba- you can do basically you have to be good at interviews so we we are never taught no that. but you have to be good at your skills also yeah yes, i mean yes, interview to ho jayega. Like, but then, everybody like i like uh, I can say that skills to has sabke paas. skill everybody has in a certain manner, but they do not know how to present themselves to show the, yeah. those skills. There is one resume yeah. we sent that, and like my I myself was in a job interview, and uh, yeah. I knew my skills, so I just spoke about those skills, and they like paid me a very good amount, like the yeah. more than I expected. So it is like you have to sell yourself in a in a creative way. Yeah. yeah, you have to tell them that why they should hire you also. So basically, this is not mm-hmm. taught in architecture school. So like At all, yeah, we can. But I feel that you know, initially I used to blame the education, this party, this council is like that. But I think if they are not fixing the situation right now, this the same thing happened with me. I was just like, what am I talented talented in? What am I good at? Let me monetize on that. So I'm just saying that you can't sit, you can't, many people do this, you know, council is doing this, that and all that. But why not you upskill yourself, you target a very particular person that I want a job in your place and I deserve it years by. You don't Mm -hmm. just copy paste your email, you customize it, you pitch yourself, like, you know, you yourself are a product and you're giving a sales pitch that this is why I should be hired. I think this will happen, but yeah, that, that is something that I do on LinkedIn and everyone should. <laughs> I hope. Yeah. I hope they, they will because at my internship time, I have a cover letter, copy paste, CC to all the architects yeah. in, the, in the world and zero, like zero email, like no for, uh, replies yeah. from anyone. I was super depressed, but now I know how I have to so okay pitch, that's yeah. a completely like different thing yes <laughs> it's a pitch yes yeah. so i am pitching certain different things to different brands now so first those hmm. were firms but now they are brands so different uh niche for me now progress <laughs> <laughs> so you work with some big medias like parametric architecture rtf for jaipur Rux, and talati at partners currently so how you plan all these things and how is life as a freelancer uh, how I plan all these things? I mean, did I plan to get these firms? Yeah, or? but ha, like, it's a dream. Like, for any architect, it's a dream to yeah. work with so many uh, companies, so many media houses. So everybody cannot do that. So we we send cold mails. We do not get replies. There's some errors in our portfolio or resume. We don't have that experience. So hmm. what was your journey? Like when you planned everything, so how it was? I think uh, Talati and Poid was something that I was approached for after I got a certain level of repute and, you know, I got recommendations and it was actually, you know, our industry is still a very word of mouth industry. 
if you're good at one place if you outperform yourself uh, people will talk about you because they were happy about your services so that is what yes. happened with poid and talati but initially you know it was a lot it was all about saying yes to whatever work was offered and by yes i mean doing unpaid work also which i don't support right now in my team there's no one who works like unpaid or anything like that because i hate that stuff but at that time i said yes to work because i was just like there's covid there's a lot of free time i'm not even an intern or an architect let me just i just need work i need my mind to be stable and at peace so it was all about saying yes to every kind of work and doing your best in it so what happened was that whatever that free work that i was getting i became a paid employee within 3 months to them so i didn't say no to the i won't do unpaid work or something like that i'm not supporting it again but in 3 months i approached them that you know this work is going good can i do something more and can i get paid for it and i got paid well so this is i think this is how things have been happening and at the same time linkedin pitching as we call it is something that i started very recently so far it has all been word of mouth i think if you kaam acha rakho kaam or attract ho guys that's my that's thing true. yeah yeah that's true like 2020 is uh, like good for me as well 2022 sorry yeah. like being good to me as well uh, touch wood so i hope so most is have day it's sorry. awesome for you you got most is have day video na no? it's online day right? No, 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 no. He follows me. I think he follows you. So what? He follows you. So he follows me back from twenty one. Oh, the the day twenty one say your big year has started. Ah, no, no. I consider twenty two. Certain good things are happening. So basically, you feel that positive energy around you, right? Whatever you are working is going to work out. You know that. Like in twenty yeah. one, it yeah. was like, करके देखता हूँ it will work or not. But in twenty two. Hmm. there's some amount of positive energies like it's not like that's not going back anywhere now i know i have to move front uh, like forward only so it will fail i know it is not like he, it will work it will fail uh, hmm. it will fail but, but you know, i know like, yeah. yeah but what i like about you is that and also the fact that there is this in our age group there is this immediateness that right? you want immediate result i want this i am a graduate i want uh, you know i want the best job it is not going to happen like my my first work which i got was 1500 rupees a month for writing 15 articles that is hopelessly lowly paid okay hopelessly the yes, ho- yes. hopelessly being the keyword so but i did it i did it because i knew that it's going to be like you know it's going to be a stepping stone from that on from 1500 it became 5000 and then something till 10000 to reach 10000 i was just like oh my god when will i reach 10000 itna to i can hope something so that's what i'm telling you people right now even when i'm doing a lot of hiring for my team and all that i see that architects are very impatient because they feel that five years are complete now we just have to you know make it and i think just saying yes to work just work i think it will come you know opportunities will come by well it so basically i have an answer for that it is a creative ego that we have when we pass out so yeah. and in school also we are taught like when you go out you have to be competing with good architects you you should be a master architect for your work and everything so the bar is already yeah. high when you are in final year and when you get out like the slap on face literally it <laughs> happened with me so i'll be very very frank it had happened with me Like it yeah, is, I, I I also had an ego that I'll be a master architect or something like that. Hmm. From this, yeah, I thought I'm going to earn six figure income yeah, yeah. the day. Yeah, all kinds of you know dreams and all that. And then like shock, like so, reality, <laughs> big reality. And you have to earn those those uh, money like in a very very hard way. You have to tell hard people way. like what hmm. are you doing, and uh, yeah. until unless they do not. uh get those vibes from you that whatever you work on is a good work they will not be hmm. yeah oh, exactly yeah so uh, talking about everything there is a funny question for you mujhe ye free mein karke do how many times you have you heard this and wait let me recollect how many hmm. times i have heard it mm, okay i'll ask you only No, you tell me first because I'm very curious. Considering you have a brand and a studio yeah. also, no, no, so you I'm, are open still, to two kinds I'm of still, filmmaking. I'm still very young in both the things. I'll say that. Yeah, 
I'll still I think you've got a lot. I think so. For the for the firm side, yes. Like they didn't say me free me करके तो but करके देने के बाद पैसे नहीं मिले. I was going to say the same thing. So with me that has happened because when you start now you're not very clear on contracts and agreements. So mm. you say say yes expecting कि you भलाई है we are all humans. I believe in humanity and all those things. But then <laughs> reality is right. And next thing you know three months you're calling the client कि पैसे कब दोगे और all that. So this has happened with me and I think it's much worse working and not getting paid. At least if it's unpaid, you know, starting say that pay is not going to be enough. So that's another thing. But what happened uh-huh. was this happened initial six months. After six months, when I started through LinkedIn again, I'm emphasizing on that. It's just that now nobody has the guts. I can say nobody has the guts because they know I'll kill them. <laughs> so yeah. Because they know that, like I can say that you are a public figure for LinkedIn, and you write content. They know the validation. Uh, they get the validation from your work. So that's why they cannot tell. Yeah. Yeah, please. <laughs> so okay, so there is a last question in this segment, and this is one of my favorite questions. And as the podcast name says, "Me Time with Sagar," how you spend your me time and reading books? You should not add that because it's mandatory for you. Yeah, it it was the first thing in my head actually, strangely. No, no. Um, but it's a it's not a very good thing to say but i i work for 16 hours a day so i don't get me time which is sad so what i do is i go on a trip every 3 months or every 5 months and then i take an extensive break where i reduce my uh, working time to 2 or 3 hours a day so yeah it's not a good practice but it's just that i en- enjoy my work so and i work as a freelancer i work you know pretty much alone my team is pan india mm-hmm. but i work alone so i think that is also my me time i enjoy working on my own yeah my me time is 16 hours oh my god so <laughs> i think because of the covid also people are very uh, comfortable working alone yeah who wants to like do small talk all the time Uh, it's fine. I've been working <laughs> alone for since two years now. Like if yeah. I, I mean I, if I, I mean I go to studios myself. and you know I have to go to studios to meet architects and interview about projects and all that. But I just try to kind of that is my only interaction that happens once every month. So I stick that. you know because lot of people then you're just like okay now you have to small talk and it's also very less on productivity yes. so i think when you're working alone you're very productive so yeah that's why i, I avoid i even avoid group working which is bad <laughs> okay <laughs> we'll have more such interviews to not have small talks yeah <laughs> so now we are done with the main segment there's a fun segment now which is called a rapid fire round This is specially curated for architects or content writers or architects turn content writers. Okay, nice. Not confusing. <laughs> okay, so my first question: Answer what you think when you hear this word. Okay. Okay. Plagiarism. Ah, uh, you're not a writer if you write like this. Freelance work. That's um freedom. Unpaid architects. upskill and demand okay yeah do what do you make notes in diary or notes app i am like a very traditional person so diary uh, and there is also notes that happen if you have an idea so you just dot it down but i have like a fat diary to write everything so things you like to change in the industry uh, in the field of content writing I think there's a lot of bias uh, in terms of Indian uh, Indian writers and UK US writers, especially in terms of payments, because they feel that we are cheap labor, and it's still mm-hmm. there. You know that that was a very shocking fact that I discovered eventually. But I think if you market yourself, if you present yourself in a certain way, you prepare your brand. That's fine. But I think uh, that needs to change. Just because we belong or we belong to a certain country or we have a certain skin tone or something, that shouldn't be how you create the pricing. Because um, I mean, I remember one client. He he was telling that you know, but you are an Indian arch- Indian writer. Why are you charging so much? Indian writers don't charge that much. It's pretty cheap labor, is what we use. Cheap labor, a word. so i told him that you know whatever that i'm writing is it going to be visible in uk only it was a uk london based client so he said no no it's pretty global i mean if your website is global how do you equate the writer to be from a certain territory so that's pretty bad 
but a nice way to answer certain people cannot answer in that way so you are yeah. you are confident with your work that's that shows <laughs> that yeah i hope you watch it this yeah we'll send in the link no give me the clients yeah. link okay <laughs> <laughs> so okay before asking this question i'll say rant start okay i'll quickly ask this is linkedin a dating app i think for 40 to 45 year old uncles and 18 to 24 year uh, main child for them it's like it exceeds tinder and bumble it's the thing like it's the it thing to be on so yeah for this age group is what i've noticed so that's why i say don't accept kisi ka bhi connection request so be basically it fun. does it does not happen with boys okay it just happened with girls but i'll not brag about yeah. it it had happened me for one one time only one you're bragging if you are saying it doesn't happen to all boys and it happened with me this is a bad oh, ha but only one time i'm saying na it's a bahut bad thing so it's one time there was one person who was like how are you where are you working and it does continues like what's your age and all i got the vibes i quickly like huh. removed the connection but you don't get hey beautiful na you don't get hey beautiful hey pretty face maybe i'm not like, beautiful i'm just trying to work <laughs> maybe i'm not beautiful for them maybe i know you know you are very beautiful <laughs> lelo <laughs> are you a chai person or a coffee person chai in the morning coffee otherwise oh i am a complete brain chai. doesn't start like that in coffee like i'll put four five sachets of sugar so then chai is better you drink chai only if that Haan, is what you do that, that is good <laughs> for me and the last question which is very important it's very tough to answer okay so listen carefully and answer very carefully and do not say phone into that okay the phone word should not be into it items which you cannot live without i will give a very cheesy and emotional answer but i can pretty much live without any item but not without the people i love so yeah that's true Lelo. that's true. So, yeah. <laughs> that's true. because when like people are not around you you cannot be creative Yeah, it fuels your mind that way. So yes, yes, you can yes, pretty yes. much survive without any item. Yeah. You need a positive energy to do something good. Yes. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> so you did very well. You are you clearly won a rapid fire round. And uh, just for the audience, you can take part in this rapid fire by answering the questions in the comments. I'll be putting the questions, or you can just directly see it from the video. And Sally, after you are winning this rapid fire round, you have to give me a gift. Okay, so. I am mean, going yeah. I'll be not giving you any hamper here so you have to give me a gift mm. by saying in the okay. camera follow FY app on Instagram and subscribe to their YouTube channel I would have said it anyways but theek hai so <laughs> follow tell your families to follow tell your chacha ka mama ki beti ki behan to follow FY app uh, FY I R like subscribe every freaking where that they are i'm watching you i'll show up at your door step and tell you to follow yes and i think you should make a linkedin also. post also now <laughs> <laughs> i'll i'll make now after this this thing get drive i'll make one so thank you so much for being the part of our podcast thank you thank you for having me Thank you for asking me very entertaining questions. Just like you know how the FII concept is, the questions are also very humor centric, which I love.